hi guys welcome back to my channel today i've got another review this time it's a perfume review and i'm actually going to be doing two perfumes because i realized that i've been looking for a few of my videos and i've done a lot of the more modern uh, type perfumes i've done some 90s like 98 99 and then i've done more up-to-date perfumes and i've done a lot of design and i've done a lot of celebrity perfumes but today I thought I'd do more of an older vibe video. So today I've got literally two older classed ones that maybe the younger generation wouldn't know. And I only know through doing research and one thing and another. But basically I'm going to be reviewing Bluegrass and then uh, I'm going to be doing, no, excuse my pronunciation, Vanderbilt. Built. <laughs> so first off i'm going to talk about blue grass which is this one as you can see i've here i've got the 30 ml bottle i will just state you can get it in a 30 a 50 and a 100 ml it's priced from like the little bottle i've seen it the cheapest for around six pound and then like the 100 ml goes up to 27 that still is actually in production even today so it's still made it's still ready available you can buy it in a lot of shops if you go in. You can also buy it online. It's probably better to pick it up online because you get the better deal. This one is, uh, I'll just mention, is Elizabeth Arden, which you know is an older fragrance. They've released a lot of fragrances back in the day. And this one dates back from 1936. So this particular fragrance was about in 1936. And... I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. What intrigued me about this one more than anything actually was the name, Bluegrass. I, I love the name of it. I think it's different, so it intrigued me. But it really has nothing to do with Bluegrass at all. I'm not sure why they decided to call it that, but there you go. Anyway, the main accords in this has been advertised and was advertised back in the days. A romantic, warm, spicy, fresh spicy floral it's apparently idyllic and a white floral the notes actually in it is lavender neoli orange bergamot jasmine carnation turberose narcissus benizone musk tokia and sandalwood um the good points i'm got to quickly state on this is I think it's for everyday kind of use. You could wear it every day. It's not very expensive. It is distinctive. It's for definitely for sure an older, mature woman. It reminds me a bit of like something my grandma would have wore. She personally wore Youth Dew, but same similar line like then. Like a lot of them perfumes back in the day were, especially for her sort of age. They are strong. I would say this is very strong and it is very long lasting and you only need a few squirts, believe me, not even that because it is that powerful. Okay, so in my opinion, blue, and I don't want to offend anyone, but it's not for me. It's not my cup of tea. Don't get me wrong, it's not the worst thing I've ever smelt, but it's just a bit too overpowering. And I like a strong fragrance. I've said this more than times before, but it's just a bit too much strong this the wattage on it's a bit strong for me but the blue grass is pleasant i find it a comforting smell once it dries down it kind of reminds me of them like little french fancy soaps that you get in posh hotels or like the little cute little french soaps your nan used to have in a basket in her bathroom well, well my grandma did but i don't know about anybody else but if you know what i'm talking about that's got that kind of vibe to it or when I smell it, it reminds me of something like an older woman who would have like in an, in her boudoir, like on the dressing table. To me, it has a very vintage vibe to it. Not so much that it's unwearable, but personally for me, I couldn't, or maybe you'd give it a go on the odd occasion in winter time. To me, this is more of a wintry type of fragrance because it's not that strong and heavy. Maybe if you wore it underneath a jumper and a little bit of it made its way through, I guess one way of wearing it. But on first spray on my skin, it's very powdery and spicy. 
but it does dry down to a nice like light spicy floral scent don't get me wrong this is a very classy and it's and it's classy in an unassuming way and like i said a little oil does go a long way unfortunately this does not vibe well on my skin it's just just too strong it kind of smells like a soapy lavender and that's a little bit too harsh and old for me personally i give it a six out of ten but there isn't going to be something that i'd reach for and be like hell yeah on a daily freight on a daily wear um you know what so that's all i can really say about that but i would just like to touch on the packaging and then i'll quickly show you the bottle itself but this is the packaging it goes it's nice i like the blue the color blue obviously the name in it the little golden detail then this is the bottle itself it's a cute simplistic kind of bottle it's not too heavy but it's not don't feel inexpensive then obviously it's got the blue grass and i'm not sure what that is on there if someone could tell me what that is supposed to be to me it looks like a unicorn with long hair but i don't know if that's meant to be what it's meant to be and then it's got nice like a silvery gold top on top and then it's just a like a normal sprayer yeah, it's a cute if you like this sort of fragrance like if i can get it off my guys if you like this kind of fragrance see that's the kind of top that oh like then this is perfect for your handbag or whatnot but basically that's all i can really say on that i'm glad i ordered it to try because i wanted to try something different and i think that's cool right next i've got this one the vanderbilt vanderbilt or however you pronounce it i apologize if i'm doing it wrong but yeah basically this one's vanderbilt by gloria vanderbilt i don't know who she is too well so maybe someone can fill me in i haven't exactly done my history on it but i was just looking for older kind of perfumes i went for one from the 1930s this one's in 80s this was released in 19, uh, 1982 so even before i was born and this comes in a 15 a 30 uh a 15 a 30 a 50 mil and i haven't seen a bigger millage than that i don't know if there is one out there it is quite easy to find on the internet i haven't seen it in the shops i must admit but i have seen it on the internet the price ranges anything from eight pounds up um to 27 is the cheapest i saw the 50 mil for um the main accords are floral white floral woody warm and it's apparently sweet and powdery the notes in this are bergamot green notes neoli pineapple jasmine orange blossom turberose ylang ylang cinnamon civet musk vivetier sandalwood and vanilla um for me i wanted to try an older fragrance and this is kind of like the epitome of 80s fragrance it smells like 80s if you know what i mean but i like it it's a, that's a good thing for me and uh i was a little bit amazed at how good this actually smells because i've like i said i tried bluegrass first and i was like oh holy hell but this one is a lot better i like this one i think it would be good for autumn and winter it's a very warming scent a couple of sprays however is enough because it is a strong one but that in a nice way it's woody and strong on first spray on my skin tone and i can really smell the turbos but then after like a few hours of wear the sandalwood and the vanilla come uh, comes through on my skin with a hint of orange and it dries down to an, an amazing i'm well impressed actually with this i give this one an 8 out of 10 the good point to me on it is it's long lasting it's strong it's very feminine but it's classical it would be a good a gift for a more mature wo woman it's not very expensive or if you're looking for a fragrance that's classy it smells nice and but you don't want it to hurt your wallet but you're a more mature woman 
and you don't want to go for a what you think is a teeny pop of a scent, I would plummet for this. Yeah, it is for an older age group, I would say. I don't think you should be giving this to your young teenage daughter or your young sister or your wife or something like that because it's just too much. To me, it's the epitome of 80s, as I've said. That's the sort of fragrance that you'd expect women to have worn in the 80s. But I think that still has standard the test of time and it still works in today. But out of the two, Bluegrass and the Vanderbilt, I like this one better. I would just like to touch up on the packaging. Obviously, I've only got the 15 mil here. The other millage, I will state, the diff the bottles differ. They're in a rounder component with a gold lid. But the 15 mil, which I'm going to show you, comes completely different glass component. But I don't think that matters too much. But I love the like lilac packaging. And then obviously it's got the little white swan, then the white with then it says Paris and New York. Then it's got the signature, I should presume, of the woman Gloria Vanderbilt in gold. That tells you what the millage is in this. Obviously, this is the toilet spray. I think if you had the perfume spray, then that would even be even stronger. But I'm not. I wouldn't be averse to that. I love the fact that it's got white all the way around the edge in here, but then it's got this really pretty little gold detailing. I think that's really pretty. I like that. So this is the little component. This would be great, I'd like to mention, for your handbag or travelling. If you had a bigger if you are a fan of this already, then obviously you might have a bigger bottle. But this one's perfect for it's just sticking in your handbag. But as you can see, it's got a glass component and then it's got a gold shiny lid, and then engraved into the glass is the swan design from there. And overall I love it. So these are the two fragrances that I decided to review today. Like I said, this one is a lot better. This is my number one compared to this. But I thought it was fun to try different like uh, fragrances from different years. And so the 1932, was it? Let me just check my notes. No, 36, sorry. 1936. Uh, versus 1982 the 82 wins in my opinion but i'd love to hear your opinion if you think i'm right or wrong if there's any other like vintagey um type of perfumes out there you'd like me to review or anything i'm up to tr to review anything i haven't got i will get in review i have got a few more perfumes planned more modern ones I'll give you a sneak hint. I've got one what was released in 2017 to review, and I've got one from 2007. So, but they are by the same designer per person. So, watch out for those two videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. And any comments would be appreciated. I'd love to hear from you. I know we're still in lockdown here in the UK and on and most places in the world so please stay safe stay indoors because the more we stay indoors the quicker they can get this under control and then we can all resume our normal lives but anyway take care again like and subscribe and leave your comments and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye